Good morning, Big Dale. Welcome to the party. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's too early for this shit. Yeah, it is. It's way too early. And I'm dark as fuck. Am I dark? I feel no, like I'm, you're not. I'm dark. You look, you look amazing. Oh, thank you. Dark is <laughs> Black is beautiful. Don't you agree? Yes, indeed. I don't know where the fuck little Timmy is. This this clown. Every morning I got to phone him and take him down. Good morning, DJ Chuck. What's up? Welcome to the party. How you doing? He said good night. So you must be in Japan, huh? He, he's part oh, man. Of he couldn't see That's that. what's up. That's what's up. I'm getting sound all over the world. Dell. Getting feedback. Yeah, that's good to see that. Let's, let's work on that. Good morning, DJ Scott. How you doing? How's it going? You in you in J Japan? Hey, Reverend Boo. Welcome to the party, Boo Girl. Yeah, I gotta do that stuff. <laughs> What's that? That's Welcome better. Yes, that's better. Good. I'm always looking for Timmy. I know. I'm sick of him. He is sickening. That's right, John. Thank you. Black is showing up beautiful. And I <laughs> I don't know where little Timmy is. I'm sick of fine chasing his ass. He gets on my whole entire nerve. You know they you know they just open up the spot. So he probably over there messing with them um, with them crackheads right now. What's fine? Over there with what he what he say? He say be over there by the um oh, the spot where they be giving yeah. giving away drugs in Baltimore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. I do remember that. But no, fuck that. I'm sick of his ass. I'm going to call him, y'all. Let's call little Timmy. I'm going to blast his number out on the thing. On the, on the call Timmy while we wait for people to come inside the room. Uh-huh. So what's going See on? See you doing. Yeah. Oh, man. Another day, another 50 cents. This little punk ass. You know your punk ass police. Ah. Oh. He needs a job. <laughs> Talking about small Timmy. Are you ready? Nigga, we been in here waiting on your ass. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> just, just like just like a black man trying like he was on time. Are y'all ready? <laughs> uh, like, I've been waiting for you. I can't stand little things ass, small I've been I've been sitting on, I've been sitting at the corner waiting for you all day. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> We're ready, sir. We've been in here waiting for you. What's up, little Timmy? Hey, what's up? What's up, baby? What's up? What's up? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up Timmy? What's going on? How you doing, bro? How you feeling, bro? I'm yeah. good, man. How you doing? Good, good, good. Yeah, good. I was on a new website called fuckthinky.com. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you say what? I was on a new... I was on a new website called fuckthinky.com. How are you talking? <laughs> I know that site. <laughs> dot org. Say <laughs> where you at, DJ? He say tie a bell on his ass. That's right. Ring a ling, ting a ling, little nigga. Small Timmy, it's your house here. Yeah, <laughs> you're right, Reverend Boy. That's right. Oh, you tell him. Ah. Oh. Timmy, that's an old, that's that's old rotary phone, wasn't it? I know, that's that shit. That shit's terrible. Now you got a rotary, don't it? It's like an old, old, old house phone with a rotary. Look, Timmy, look how good old man is. You know, you know everybody had old phones that roaches. <laughs> do, do you remember the old see-through phone where they used to put the neon lights in there? You can see the roach crawling through there. Well. <laughs> I just want to say this, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Fuck you, okay? okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, you, know, you, know, you, know Nikki and fuck you collectively. Hey, Nikki, you yeah. know, I was over your house one time. I saw a mouse. You want to talk about how you get out of this cage? Like, bitch, ain't no cage, mouse. You know, it's like a mouse and pet. How you get out of this cage? <laughs> but how, how you short on camera, nigga? How you a team motherfucker <laughs> on the lawn? Whatever. You get a book to see the stuff, you little motherfucker. All right. Whatever. <laughs> oh, yo. How, you, how your Achilles doing, Kevin Durant, you tall bitch? How you, <laughs> how you doing, KG? <laughs> oh, boy. Y'all starting off hard this morning. <laughs> oh, KD, look at that. Okay. 
So, Timmy, we got some stories. So let's just get right into it because your little ass was late to the fucking party. Let's start off with the fact that Nike did this whole full figure mannequin thing and fucked up the game, man. What? Everybody is mad as hell. What? Because they just mad because they saying, I don't see no reason. I think, you know, from the picture. I think it's a it's a good thing. I don't see why anybody should be fucked up about it because, you know, they trying to be inclusive. Everybody's talking about inclusion. Look, there's the picture right there. God so, damn, is a big man again. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big ass girl. That bitch said Nickelodeon. They only say Nike. <laughs> <laughs> You are but look, crazy. hey, but look, there is that that industry is a twenty billion dollar industry though, so they just trying to tap into that market. I mean, they gonna wear it anyway, so why not make it to fit them? Right, Damn. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> where where it look where it look right on them? To fit them, what they doing now is they're marketing to them, and that's what they hadn't been doing. Good morning, Bree. Welcome to the party. So I I think personally, I don't see no problem with it. What did you say they said, Dell? It's, it was a reporter um, from um, Tanya Gold. Over, she was a British. She's yeah, Tanya Gold from um, in, in British. She said she selling. She, they selling an illusion to big women. She said that that mannequin is not getting ready to go run nowhere. But that's she cool. said that, that's, how they, that's how they stand in Chick Fil A. That's how they stand. That's how big girls stand in Chick Fil A. <laughs> hey, look. Do, do, do I want the regular lemonade or do I ah, want the sugar free lemonade? Uh, what y'all got on style? Ah, give me a four piece nut. Ah, that's what he's <laughs> stupid, boy. <laughs> well, we, I can't agree with you, Big Dell. Listen, <laughs> Nike is doing what they should do. Because they're marketing to everybody. It ain't no different marketing to the gay or marketing to, you know, like the the whites, the blacks. It's, it's being inclusive. They're being inclusive. It's a big ass fucking mannequin, yes. She's a big right. mannequin, nigga. Big you know it's plastic and took like, you made that bitch. You know it's plastic. They don't they don't use so that's like eighty five thousand bottles of coke. That's a big bitch there. That is a big Bitch, I'm telling you, <laughs> that bitch like she about to run for the ice cream truck. <laughs> Come back, ding a ling 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 ling. Oh, oh boy! Oh. <laughs> I let you come on, Hey, hey boy, you all the time, boy. Ding a ling ling ling. <laughs> Give me a snow cone. A motherfucking strawberry shortcake. Look at the big girl in the back with the hand up over there. Oh. You see her? Oh. <laughs> right here. <laughs> Y'all see her? Her. Oh my goodness, boy, <laughs> he's crazy. Oh, but I think, you know, I think, I think, I think for Nike though, it was a good movie. You know, some dudes were right looking at the mannequin right now. Talking about, yo, I hit that. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked that man, yo. I hit that man, yo. Let's go. Yeah, hit it. The mannequin. <laughs> That's why I went with all of that story. And said, Let me see the this man again in the dress. But room. you know what, though? That's the best woman to have. Yeah, he's going to say some foul shit. That's why his motherfucking ass broke. Fuck you. What? What you say, Tammy? You know what I mean, Del? Hey, Del, huh? the best woman to have. No mouth. So she can shut the fuck up. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe not. No mouth. Maybe no voice. Man, no, yeah, no voice. I was all maybe, maybe, maybe no voice. <laughs> <laughs> you want, you want to keep the mouth. You, you want to keep the mouth, but maybe no voice. <laughs> hey, don't forget to like and share this feed, family. We appreciate y'all joining us. Welcome to the party. Good morning. Good morning. So, how about DJ Chuck? DJ Chuck going to say, uh, hey, We got him keeping his wife up. She trying to sleep. He They over there in Japan. He trying to sleep. She, he in that screaming, laughing at us, keeping her woke. 
Listen. Tell her I'll bad. <laughs> I think Nike is on the right track. Nike is doing what they should do, and that is including everybody. As a big girl. But you know what? Of, of course. I bet that shit made out of Kevlar like a vest. <laughs> you can't have no regular, have no regular material. They have some of the best um, compacting stuff. Now, that shit holds me. That's why I like Nike. That shit pulled. I was like a, a, a triple X, but I could fit a medium in Nike. Oh, yeah. Nike give it, yeah, your Nike be fooling them, fuckers. <laughs> yeah, that's what it do. Nike like them waist trainers. Nike, <laughs> you know, I'll take that shit, I'll be like... <laughs> Yeah, like jello shots for everyone. Like, girl, I did not know we were having a threesome. <laughs> they uh, take that shit. <laughs> <laughs> we having a threesome? Who are all these people in here? That's me, boo. <laughs> but, but now I tell you, I tell you one thing. I mean, at least, at least now though, you know what I'm saying women cannot walk around in public with the shit that don't fit. They can get the shit that really fit them. Yeah, you know what I mean. But you know what though, you know, they, they, I, I will say about Nike. That they they make they make Hollywood and everything look one way, so I, I do commend them for that. You know, everybody has different body types. You know what I'm saying? Listen, uh, John, John got a point. John Daniel said Americans are fat as fuck anyway. It's true, and there's a McDonald's on every corner, so they better market to the big ass motherfuckers. You're right. He's right though. You know, a lot of. Um, foreigners talk about how big we are as a society. Uh, Gina Yashere, the British comedian, said that uh, she was shocked the first, when she first came to America because she ordered like a basic meal and the plate was big, big as fuck. And it was so much food that she couldn't believe it. Yeah. yeah we, America is big, man. We're we, 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 we some of the unhealthiest people ever. Yeah, yeah. And, and lately our children are equally as unhealthy. Our children are fat as fuck. Okay? Yeah, they are. It's some fat ass yeah. kids out there. I'm telling you. Know you. Why? They ain't doing shit. Fat ass little back playing PlayStation. They got PlayStation in one hand and got them uh, little Debbie's on the other. You fat okay. fuck. And snacks and shit. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Killing, killing, killing the community. Like, Where about insulin? You four years old. You got about insulin? <laughs> You got about insulin. Like when we was remember when, when we was young, we used to go outside and play all day. So we was athletic and mobile. Like I was a big kid, but I was still athletic and mobile. Like you look at these kids now, they in the seventh grade with their feet slumped in, walking like they sixty five. Listen, I'm yeah. telling you, it's terrible. And kids lazy too because they fat. Yep. They are. What man who looks nine months? What about the men who talking about the best? Yeah. That's true. And I will say this, and it's a true statement to me. That motherfuckers walking around with them big pot bellies and shit with them little teeny ass t shirts on. And the thing that I noticed lately, a lot of men have breasts. What the fuck is up with the man boobs? Yeah, they do. That shit is. Hey, look, I done been, look, I done been in the hospital. I ain't been in the gym in three months. Stop talking about yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, you, <laughs> you, you had that tank top on the other day, Dell. You got, I'm, 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 I'm sorry to God, I got chubby. I said, this nigga, look at this titties. <laughs> oh, Dell got man titties. How about the milk, oh. how about the milk, your big ass? <laughs> I said, this, hey, nigga, his shirt was like, this, this nigga was lactating. This nigga was lactating. <laughs> that's all right. I'll be back. I'll be back in the gym in a minute. I'll be back in the gym in a yeah, minute. Yeah, nigga. That's what they all say. <laughs> I'm about to tell the I'm about to tell the doctor fuck him and just at least go do upper body guy. Oh, welcome to the party, boo boo. What's up, coffee? Listen, I'm telling you, you said the extra large. Yeah, that's right. All ten of y'all, that's right. All ten of y'all share this. Extra large, no, that extra large is a medium in Japan. I know that for a fact. It's a small, them little Japanese. Oh my god, I tried to order something off, of, and it was Japan side. I had they had to give it to the neighbor's uh, five year old son next door. You <laughs> said we said sit all day and play because the, the the age of technology, the age of technology, man. I'm telling you, that's right, Rita, man, boo. Whatever. DJ, Whatever. he's about to get kicked out. Well, you, your big ass will be 
you won't be hard to find in Japan because all them little motherfuckers be like, what this big nigga doing out yeah, here? They're like, who here? Why you here, big guy? Godzilla. Why you here, Godzilla? Godzilla. <laughs> you, know, like, you be 5'8". You be Look at Godzilla. You Godzilla, nigga. Godzilla, nigga. Godzilla. Nigga. Godzilla. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, that's exactly why they be looking up at you like you are you. You are you. And nigga, you go over that bitch, and nigga, you go over that bitch, they gonna try to capture you. Oh my god, <laughs> no way that But hold, hold on, I want I want I want him to send us a picture so we can see what he looked like DJing in the club. Cause you know the club smiles, so he probably be in that motherfucker like this. <laughs> Somebody say Uchi Ichi Wama. American DJ to the party. Yeah. They real fashionable. What? So here's another thing, y'all. Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods back in the news, not for the reasons we think, but because. Uh, Tiger Woods, somebody went to his restaurant, right? And um, Tiger Woods owns a restaurant. Let me get to yeah. uh, it. Was, it, was the actually one, it was actually one of his employees, his caddy employee. or something like that. Yeah. yeah. But he ate in the restaurant that he owned, right? Right. Right. Hold on. And drank too much. And he overconsumed alcohol. Who the, the, and they, and they, they, they supposed to be an alcoholic. can't find it. That's right. What, so here's what happened. So one of his former employees, the guy's name is Nicholas Imsberger, went to the restaurant that Tiger owned and got drunk and then drove himself home, right? Mm -hmm. Driving. Now on the ride home, the nigga crashed and died. Oh, that's not funny. Parents <laughs> are out there blaming Tiger that, uh, you know, for for this boy's death, or man, I don't know how old he was, but they saying that uh, Tiger's defense is that motherfuckers knew this nigga was a drunk. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knew this boy was a drunk, I guess, including Tiger. So did the restaurant question of the day become, should the restaurant not have served him? Should the uh, people have taken his keys? Or should the yeah, man be responsible and do what <clears throat> people do? Don't drive drunk. But how you should be responsible? You can't be responsible for somebody else's acting. He's a grown man. Huh? But but uh, but but in, in in all actuality, you know they do hold restaurants and, and clubs responsible yeah. for yeah. consumption. You know you got to pay attention to your to your patrons when they're in there because if they are over consuming, it is your job to 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 make sure they're sober enough to leave or or at least try to offer them an alternative on getting home because yeah. you can get stupid like you that. You know a good example of that like, when it comes to club. Remember Club Love when the girl left. Yeah, the they had definitely. The they they shut that shit down. Remember? Yeah, but they was yeah. And and you know that's when um love went to a uh, thing where they start having a like a on the back dock they made like a medical center when people got drunk we used to have to take them down there and they had to sober up before they could leave. Yeah. 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 You're yeah. 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 Chuck, you're right. Chuck, you're right. Liability laws. You're right. So he might he might get yeah. hit. He might get hit with that. Yeah. Well, how is he liable though? See, and the guy, if he's an employee, they probably all knew him. He might even have been drinking himself, serving himself. But, it's, but uh, I don't know. But it's up to you as a, as as a, whatever as an employee, or whatever. If you see that he's you're coming out of the establishment, you, you gotta do it. You gotta take the keys, or you gotta do what you gotta do, or you will be held responsible. I think they're going after him specifically because he is Tiger Woods, and of they he got money. But, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the reason. It's, that's the reason it's in the news. Well, okay. that's also the reason they're pursuing it. I want to be the same nigga to be cutting tiger hair, cause that shit is horrible. <laughs> come here, Tiger. Come here. That's probably why he was nigga. fired. Uh, that's why he was a former employee. <laughs> God, damn, no. oh, Tiger's bald. Let's see his hair. Let's see his hair. No, Tiger got. The, oh, Tiger needs to just cut that shit off. He got a hat on. Shit. I wonder, wow, thanks, Monroe. Monroe said the young man was only 24 years old. Oh, See? wow. Okay. Wow. 
Hey, Monroe, welcome to the party. Hey, you're right, you're right, D, you're right, DJ Chuck. And, and, and the bartenders are supposed to cut you off. They are supposed to pay attention to that, you know, and, and know yeah. when somebody's liberated or, or at that point. I, use, I I go through that a lot sometimes, working in especially these black establishments, and you try to tell them, you'd be like, hey, that brother, you know, he, he on the edge, you might want to start watering it down. They'd be so busy on, oh, on the concept of trying to get the money. Yeah. They don't realize, you know, that's people's lives at Jeopardy, man. You can't it's let people leave you. It's going to cost you more money in the end, though. Right, in the long run, it's definitely. Long run. Just start watering down the drink. I try, I try to tell them to do something to it, put some more juice in there or something. Wow. Yeah. Wow. yeah. You got to do something. <clears throat> well, yeah, we, we said that. They said everybody in the restaurant knew he was an alcoholic. And see, the thing is, when, when we know this stuff and we keep on treating people like it's everybody's fault see and this time he killed himself but what happens when he killed innocent people as a result you know right yeah that's that's a lot of silver that's a lot of silver lawsuits yes. dj chuck what, what club you used to run in atlanta bro yeah. hit me up and let me know you know i'm from the atl no he wasn't there he ain't gonna be there he owned the restaurant but they trying to make him liable well don't make it that he's the owner yeah yes. monroe said his girlfriend was the manager who Tiger, yeah, yeah, Tiger girlfriend, one of his girlfriends. Oh wow, yeah, damn. DJ on the club in Atlanta, and what happened? Grown to folks, old net. Hey, your grown folks over there, on old net, bro. I know who that is. Yes, sir. Listen to him. That nigga got country as fuck, didn't he? <laughs> God damn, he was just trying to play, nigga. We're the old club. We free, baby. We free. We free. Okay. Timmy, fuck you. Go play with your dog. <laughs> <My dude. laughs> Go play with your dog. <laughs> this nigga turned. Hey, 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 look. Hey, look. Now, fuck you. I'm fin to. <laughs> I'm fin to. Go fix me. I'm fin to. Go play with him. Damn. That nigga turned straight. Good lord. What happened? What'd you say, Nikki? He turned. You say, Nikki? You say something about my mother? You, yeah. <laughs> Your mother should have taught you how to say that. Damn. Damn, nigga. I know you lost every spelling bee. This nigga, this nigga lost every spelling bee. Listen, y'all. <laughs> you did it. How, how, how I say it, nigga? Lala. I don't remember. Let's talk about Alabama. So, yes, that. Alabama voted and passed this, this ridiculous thing into law. So now... They have the right to chemically castrate people. Now, you know that this is only going to affect us, right? Wait a minute. Hold on. Not really. It's, it's chemically castrate for people to mess with the kids. I read the whole story. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Let me tell you about, something. About they, can't be, they can't be rehabilitated. It's about <laughs> the kids, but it really ain't about the kids. It ain't about the kids, sir. It's not. I'm telling you, just like all of the other disenfranchised laws that that are uh, passed into legislation, like uh, 13th Amendment right. and all of that shit. DJ Chuck, you ain't hear about it. So let me tell you what the fuck that is. So Alabama has passed into law this legislation that it is OK to chemically castrate Individual, the governor of Alabama signed a bill, okay, that requires chemical chemical castration of certain child sex offenders. I don't know what the stipulations are that will determine who these offenders are and what it's based on. But any offender that dealt with children 13 years or younger will be forced to be on medical a medical regimen, also, and they got to pay for it. So refusal to take the treatment will result in a violation of their parole and they will they will be in prison. Now, just like every other fucking law in this country, most of the enforcement is specifically geared toward black people and the uh, over incarceration and over adjudication of our youth and people like that. 
So black men will find themselves suffering as a result is what would happen if this law had been in effect when they did this bullshit with uh, the Central Park Five? Yes, let's, we know it was a woman, it was an adult, but what would happen if something like this were to uh, have been allowed in cases like that? These men who later were exonerated of this crime eventually would have been fucked up for life on some bullshit. You can't trust these crazy cracker ass motherfuckers. I understand that. I understand that. Or your ability. <laughs> I understand that. You can, you can burn R. Kelly dick balls. I care. Fuck R. Kelly. He could be the first nigga to go. Yeah. Fuck him. You say Fuck that. Him. You say that, but what happens when you Fuck find him. that? I don't know. Uh, when it comes when it comes to kids, I don't I don't really I don't really, I don't really I agree with you. Yeah. I'm sorry. Applications aren't valid. What happened? I'm sorry. But I, but I, but I, but I think but I, th I think now I think now in this time like it, it, I go both ways with it but I I've been thinking about it and mm -hmm. I think now in this time that there's so much more evidence with the DNA evidence that they can actually prove that it was yeah. actually done. Yeah. And, and 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 confidently convict people now. Yeah. Because my, my, my mm -hmm. whole thing is but, with, with these kids man it's already been proven that these people cannot be rehabilitated. That's been proved. You mean that's right. been proven? These pedophiles, there's something chemically fucked up with them. They can't be rehabilitated. So I, I, I ain't too mad at being castrating these bastards. I'm sorry when it comes to kids. Me either. I mean, I ain't saying I'm completely mad at it, but I'm afraid of it because you can't trust these guys. The, the, you know, you can't trust the American judicial system. No, you can't. You know yeah. These that's old, these old back smoking room, good old boys decisions. Yes, that's the old white man, man. You got that old white old hips. to legally uh, limit the the growth of the black population and the brown population in America, because white people fear extinction. They fear that it, it's they not they not uh, producing fast enough. Now, remember, Alabama is the same motherfucking state. That that passed the or or did they pass the law? I can't even remember if they passed the law, but they proposed the law to uh, make abortion completely illegal, even in cases cases of rape and incest. Right, I heard. Yeah. Alabama was the first state to do it. Yeah. Have done it. I know they yeah. entered it into legislation. Alabama was the first one to do it. Then Georgia came behind. Yeah, well, they did do it. See, and yeah. that's the shit. That's that's the thing that makes it oh, scary. Anytime they, call it, anytime they call it a new law, it scares me. Don't get me wrong. Any new ass motherfuckers, man. I know, but, motherfuckers but, should not be allowed. It's like you certain shit you can't do without supervision. They shouldn't be allowed to do anything when it comes to... They, they need to have what happened when they found out Marion Barry was smoking crack and they took over the city and put it into receivership. That's what they need to do with fucking Alabama because them motherfuckers are irresponsible and yeah. they cannot be trusted. The yeah, laws that affect people's lives and shit. Them motherfuckers are hicks and they stupid. Yeah. But I don't think we have a problem with black people being recreated. We fucking an alarming rate. <laughs> we, like, Damn, nigga. <laughs> nigga, we ain't got no problem with that. The motherfuckers took all the money. Hey, oh. ain't no job. We can't. We, we don't have nothing else to do but fuck. Shit. Man, black people don't play. That's we don't take playing A. We don't take playing B. We don't take playing C. We don't plan shit. <laughs> we just we don't even plan to take care of it. We just plan to we just have a baby. <laughs> but before we do, Wendy Williams has a new bow. That is him. So the shave room with they shady ass. They got the details. I think it was the shave room on media take out one of them motherfuckers. Anyway, uh -huh. they tried to get me to show the mug shot. I'm not doing that because he's a brother. Even though you know he's a young brother, his name is Mark. You did that wrong, Nikki. So what? You supposed to say brother? Wendy Williams got a new supporter. Yeah. <laughs> supporter. <laughs> yeah. She support. She supporting him. I mean, <laughs> he did support him. Her. He you probably know, got on new sneakers right. now. That he's first picture, them sneakers was run right. over. Manager from North Carolina, he considers himself an asset and investment manager. He was. Apparently con convicted seven years ago in connection with some robbery, but who gives a fuck about that? He is on the come up. 
So congratulations. Moving on up to the east side. Okay. <laughs> in the sky. In the sky. Damn. 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 Thank you. I ain't hating on them. I ain't hating on them. Yeah, man. If I was walking down the street of New York and when the wings popped out and say, hey, big man, come here, I would have walked over there and say what she wanted. <laughs> yeah, and, you'd have, and you'd have been gay because that's a man. <laughs> <nigga. Yeah. laughs> who? I would say, who, me? <laughs> you know, again, get out. Let me let me wear your tennis shoes. I know y'all the same size shoe. That's hey, spe- that's hey, spe- <laughs> that big got especially right coming out, especially coming out the bank, right? Nigga, oh, that's no. that Velcro. You ever see that shoe? She got shoe. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big yeah. bitch. Her feet are huge, nigga. Oh my god. <laughs> that bitch with she got left. Her feet big as fuck. Oh, Timmy, my bad. I did that. I did that. Oh Lord. My bad, Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a dumb bitch look. <laughs> I told you, Dale. Hey, Dale. That's how you do. You got freeze up on motherfuckers, man. Girl, we got that you freeze up on the bitch. I was just you know. What's wrong with you, nigga? I froze up, bitch. He froze up. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Hilarious. Why uh, DJ Chuck said boy pussy is a no-go? <laughs> 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 I'm up with man boobs, DJ Chuck. Let me tell you something. I don't give a damn. I know one thing. Wendy is getting ready to get her whole entire life. That bitch is so happy. This she probably feel like a free slave right about now. She been yeah. uh, uh, trapped under that clown ass <laughs> that she was married to for probably the last how long they were together? Over twenty years. Yeah, he, yeah. Probably, he probably feel like he's free too. He, he, was was always, he was whooping our ass and taking our money. Nigga, you ain't gonna whoop my ass and take my money, motherfucker. You get one on the oh, yacht. Fuck that. That man should have, well, she a man. She don't have a block, bitch. I mean, was she a man too? Block, bitch, block. What man, <laughs> what man sit there and take that? Block, bitch, block. You got the big ass. You gonna throw a shoe at him and kill them. One shoe. Oh, you, hate you, Timmy, I hate you. One shoe. <laughs> Should've killed that nigga with one shoe. One smack with a Timberland. That nigga would've died. Listen, uh, her son, Lil' Kev, said he happy. So Lil' Kev, no. You know, anytime a boy side with his mother on some shit like that, and the mother and the father live... You know some shit been going on. You know what's going on. So, and, yeah, and the son... You know where his bread butter that too. That's yeah, right. Exactly. Uh, her husband, bitch. Because you a bitch-ass nigga if you hitting women. I don't give a fuck. Use I a believe bitch. that, too. Use Not bitch. hit women. You got to do other Never. shit. Never. Like- Cut off all the tips of their shoes so they can't put their shoe string back in. You gotta do stupid shit. Don't hit your woman. <laughs> do crazy shit. Put you gotta do something like put hot sauce on her maxi pads. Do shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> you burning, bitch. Hot ah, fish, hot fish, hot fish. <laughs> hot fish. <laughs> hot fish. I had some pepper spray on my hand one time. Baby, baby, go. you smell like mullet. What's going on with you? <laughs> I was crack horn. A lot of shit was going on, right? Like, uh-huh. I had got into a beef with this old nigga. <laughs> and the old nigga tried to comfort me. And I had this new pepper spray I was dying to use on a nigga. The one thing I learned, two lessons that night. So me and the Bama got into it, and I said, nigga, if you don't get out of my face, I'm going to pepper spray your motherfucking ass. And he took one step, right? I sprayed that nigga. We was inside. He ran one way. I ran the other way. I got so that's when I learned you can't pepper spray a nigga in the house. And the next <laughs> thing, I went and tricked right after that, right? And... I'm holding the nigga's joint with the pepper spray on the hand. He was like, oh my God, lady. Bro. your dick, sir. That's it. I couldn't tell him that. I just laughed and got out this nigga's car. I was laughing. She lied to me. Oh, now you got something. Now you got something. Oh, Lord. That's oh. 
But I you got something, nigga. I'm a clean crack whore. You got, you got you something. Got something. <laughs> That's your dick burning. Better <laughs> like, me, better like. Hey, it's it's an old hey Tim, it's an old nigga somewhere talking about man. That one time out with this motherfucker man, goddamn, she had syphilis in her palm, nigga. <laughs> she burnt me with her palm. <laughs> How your palm got gonorrhea? You gave me nigga gonorrhea with the palm. <laughs> I was when I grabbed the nigga's door, he started screaming. At first, I thought I had popped him or something. I ain't know what the fuck was wrong. Then I remember it was the best. She said, hey, she told that motherfucker start doing like that. He said, oh, shit. She was like, yeah, I'm like that. I'm like that. That's why you out here. Fuck that. That's why I advocate to this day for craft beer, okay? Because it's rough out that motherfucker. Y'all don't know what it's like. All the OSHA standards. People got to learn. Anyway. You know what? I thought I knew you from somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want that nigga to take that ten dollars back that time. <laughs> 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 Listen, so we gotta get out of here. Timmy for real. Lord Timmy, wait, what? <laughs> he fro for real. <laughs> Lord Timmy, what you doing this weekend? Is he frozen? Yeah, he frozen. He look like he look like from he look like the little thing from Ratatouille, don't he? <laughs> <laughs> Look, we'll catch little Timmy tomorrow. Big Dell, take us home, sir. Hey, man, it's been a wonderful morning. Don't forget to like and share this feed. Tell everybody to join a friend and hang out with us, man, because it's too early for this shit with Lil Timmy and Nikki Moore and the super producer. Big Dizzle, aka the mouth. You can find me on Facebook and IG, the mouth underscore moments. Man, I love y'all to death, man. Thank y'all for joining us. We'll see y'all tomorrow, 10 30 ish. What's going on with you, Nikki? I'm out. I ain't got you out, baby. Peace. Yeah. Love you. Talk to y'all later. Yeah. Timmy gonna be in New York all weekend. I know that. I don't know exactly where, but he's gonna be in New York. So well, tell your friends in New York to look out for little Timmy because he's coming and got their bush of good. More day to say, so y'all follow if y'all wanna hang out with me. And my DJ, DJ Oxygen, we're going to be hanging out on uh, July the 5th at the Ivy City Smokehouse. Uh, we're going to be he DJing on the patio. We turning up, y'all. It's Friday night turn up. Ivy City Smokehouse, July the 5th. I won't be here. I'm sorry, but my DJ will. I would have been here Friday, but I, I, I forgot the response. So I cost the nigga a gig, but I got him a new one. My bad. Y'all know what it's like. Just like this show, don't be having no highest expectations for my motherfucking life, okay? Because sometimes it just don't go well. Anyway, just we hit the share button. Share, please share. Like and share. And tell somebody. Share. Yeah, each and every morning, just like Dale just said, at 1030 ish. Ish. And we <laughs> about anything and everything, but mostly absolutely nothing. Because it's too early for this shit. Oh, wait. Lil Timmy wants to say bye, y'all. Say bye-bye, Lil Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> say goodbye, boo. We hey, Tim, there. I told him you was going to be in New York all weekend, but tell him exactly where you're going to be at in New York. Yeah, I'll, be in, I'll be in a Bedford band in Brooklyn, New York on Saturday for Brooklyn Mike's Big Bash. On Brooklyn! The show slash after party this weekend. My man, Brooklyn Mike. It was happy birthday, Brooklyn Mike, so... So I'm having a good time. So tell all your friends in New York and Timmy Hall, we'll be there. Me Hot and Lil Timmy. And Maxi Pays. I'm going with Lord Timmy because Lord Timmy requires supervision. I got a, I, well, I can't. I got a Hyundai and you. Fuck, <laughs> so anyway. It don't, everybody know what they're talking about. <laughs> all right, we got you. Bye, babe. Holla. <laughs>